This black hole is unimaginably gigantic and it has erupted from its galaxy. How could this happen and do such marauding black holes pose a danger to us? Fascinating original footage of the runaway black hole can be found in this video, so be sure to stay tuned until the end and if you like it, I'm galactically happy about a thumbs up and a comment, because that's how we get the YouTube algorithm to show this video to even more people. Thank you guys and welcome. Black holes are already scary anyway. They usually immense gravity and massive density create an area where no escape would be possible even at the speed of light. And nobody has any idea what happens in this area beyond the event horizon. But now things are getting even more worrying, because one of the gravity monsters is on the loose and hurtling uncontrollably through the cosmos. The speed of this escape to freedom is so gigantic that it would cover the distance between the Earth and the Moon in just 14 minutes. But before you call the police on the fugitive miscreant, let's take a closer look at the Cosmic Crime Report. What exactly happened here? It started with an initial suspicion, when Yale University astronomy professor Peter von Dockham took a close look at an image from the Hubble telescope. The image showed a kind of bright streak. He initially thought this was an artifact in the image caused by cosmic radiation. In other words, something that you actually want to get out of the image in order to be able to see the object that is actually in your sights. Like when you want to take a really cool selfie for your crush, but your thumb is in the picture the whole time. Maybe that's better for some selfies too, but when the research team filtered out the image artifacts, the stripe was still visible. Gradually it emerged that what was initially thought to be an image error was one of the most exciting discoveries in a long time. A super heavy black hole, ejected from its galaxy, trailing a tail of newly forming stars, wow! So we already have his image of the suspect and therefore know a lot about him. This black hole on the run probably has a mass of about 20 million suns. That makes it more than four times heavier than the central black hole in our galaxy, Sagittarius A star. I have placed a black hole of this mass and size in our solar system. As you can see, it fills almost the entire area between the Earth and the Sun and would, of course, destroy our entire system. Just in time. I don't have to start doing my stupid tax return anymore. Anyway, now the question is, can we reconstruct the course of the crime? What would Sherlock Holmes conclude if he saw this and had studied physics? A black hole outside his galaxy, a trail of young stars between him and his host galaxy. Elementary, Watson. Here, the black hole was clearly ejected from its galaxy by a collision. And Professor Von Dockham's team assumes that a really rare and bizarre triple collision took place here. Because when two black holes collide, they usually merge to form an even heavier black hole. However, when three black holes collide, it can happen that one of them is ejected. So instead of the fifth wheel, you can say, to look smarter. Dude, you really are the third black hole in the core of the galaxy. I have a feeling we've almost solved the crime. The culprit was jealous and simply abandoned the other two participants in this gravitational triangle relationship to their fate and is now on the run from the galactic crime scene. It all sounds logical, but... You know, there's only one thing that I'm not clear about. Where does the trail of young stars that the black hole leaves behind come from? After all, that's how the perpetrator gave himself away in the first place. So much criminal energy and yet so careless. When the black hole marauded out of the galaxy, it naturally tore out a lot of gas and it also moved through the hydrogen-containing outer regions of the galaxy, the so-called halo. A lot of gas was sucked into the gravitational wall of the black hole, of course, but due to the immense speed, large areas of hydrogen were also squeezed together simply by the black hole rushing past. And if you squeeze enough hydrogen together, amateurs also use the word compress, then you get a star. So our suspect left a lot of traces behind when he fled the scene of the crime. A trail of compressed hydrogen, from which new baby stars were formed. And the chain of evidence here is really long. The band of stars trailing the black hole stretches over 200,000 light years. This makes it roughly the size of our entire galaxy, the Milky Way. Professor Van Dockham says, The gas in front of the black hole is shaken by the supersonic shock of the black hole moving through the gas at very high speed. But exactly how this works is not really known. It's pure coincidence that we stumbled across it. 
So not only do black holes have a destructive effect, they are also the creators of new suns. We can take that as a mitigating circumstance for our fugitive suspect. I am the law! I never broke the law! I am the law! You betray the law! Mr. I am the law! But to close the case, we need more solid evidence. And that's where the James Webb Telescope comes in, which is supposed to take a closer look at the runaway black hole, as NASA calls it, in the near future. Then it will be particularly interesting to see whether our hypothesis of a three-way collision of black holes can be confirmed. But one thing is already certain, we are safe from the culprit, because the whole event took place at a distance of 7.5 billion light years. So this black hole will not come anywhere near our solar system. Air the knowledge of the basic existence of black holes marauding around can of course be a little unsettling. But the researchers have forgotten one thing so far. They haven't come up with a name for this volatile black hole yet. Write me your best name suggestions for this felon in the comments, I'm super excited to see what you come up with. I'll also reply to the best suggestions, I promise. Quick note that I'm just shy of 15,000 subscribers. So, if you're watching this video and haven't subscribed to the channel yet or know any space-loving friends and family, I'd be really galactically happy if you could help me reach the 15,000 mark. Thanks guys! By the way, there's another exciting discovery. Astronomers have found a second Earth right on our galactic doorstep. No joke, a planet about the size of our Earth and located in the habitable zone. Fascinating images of the surface of this planet and information on how we can get there can be found in the video below. Be sure to click on it to travel with me to this exo-Earth. If you want to support my work, get the new plush black hole in the space store, which can be turned into a white hole, only while stocks last, and every purchase really helps me a lot to continue this channel. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.